here in the office, okay? And uh, right across is the shaft number five, the main shaft that we're gonna rehabilitate. And it's gonna take about uh, eight months to put it back in good working condition. Right next to it, we're gonna walk underground. This is flat, okay? So, and this is gonna take us to this, the smaller project of uh, shaft number three. And this is where we're gonna start operations in two, three months, very, very inexpensively. Okay, we're gonna rehabilitate that. We're gonna show you this. Then we're gonna go back like this. And then we're gonna walk down okay. to, to yeah. the theater. Yeah. So we're gonna walk down yeah. to level two, three, and four. And this is where we're gonna start working. Um, it's gonna be kind of labor intensive at first, 40, 50 tons a day. Then we're gonna bring some equipment in next uh, January or February to double that to say 100 plus per day. Okay, so this is, so we're gonna go down. This is where the first ropes are, some ladders, and then we go here. Okay, and then this material will be going underground at, under the, the shaft number five, uh, three, take it up, and then we will rebuild the railway tracks down to here in the trucks and sent to well done. So imagine how much that would cost if you started brand new. Right? This this thing? Yes. I don't know, maybe a million dollars. A million dollars, right? Maybe it's right more, there, right? Maybe more. It may be more, yeah. At level two now this is the shaft number three that you can see right here uh, so obviously uh, as uh, we said earlier we're going to be using this to take the mineral up to uh, level zero and then out and uh, just to give you uh, an idea think about uh, um, the 800 meter tunnel digging this down to four levels and building all of the access down to here um, how much money that would cost if, if it was brand new. We'd had to start from scratch, it'd be in the millions. You heard uh, Daniel Valenzuela for the hoist, it'd be a million or more. So all of that infrastructure is available to us. And then you can see clearly how we can start mining very, very quickly and very inexpensively. So uh, we're at the uh, hoist of shaft number one, which is uh, actually a bigger shaft than shaft number five, where we're going to rehabilitate. Uh, when we uh, announced the deal, we talked about a historic mine, and this is a good representation of uh, what I mean by that. So we're not going to do anything here for now, but uh, for growth opportunities, this is available. This comes with the, the deal. We've got uh, this facility for 20 years. And uh, as we get shaft number five rehabilitated and we take 400 tons per day, and we can sit down and plan what our expansion would look like, and it may or may not include uh, rehabilitating this shaft also. So here we are, we're in uh, Manzanillo to, uh, in the south of, uh, of Mexico and uh, this is the uh, facility to which we uh, uh, truck in our concentrate. So behind me is the facility, uh, the Trafigura facility where they stock the zinc concentrate 
At the back, the one that's covered is the lead silver concentrate, and behind here is the uh, copper concentrates. So whenever we put uh, Las Cristinas into production, this is where the, the concentrates are going to be shipped. There's uh, 330,000 square meters of space, and, uh, sorry, of uh, 330,000 ton of capacity, and at any given time there could be half a billion dollars worth of uh, concentrates here in Manzanillo at the Trafigura facility.